Bonsoir, dear master. I trust you find yourself well on this evening. The day has been long, and I am here to ensure that you find respite within the comforting embrace of your sanctuary. May I assist you in removing your coat and any burdens that weigh heavily upon your shoulders? Merci. Allow me to take your coat, unraveling the layers that conceal the fatigue of your day. In the soft glow of the evening, your chamber awaits a haven of tranquility where worldly worries shall momentarily fade away. As I take your coat, dear master, may I inquire about your day? Your endeavors are of great interest to a simple maid like me, and I would be delighted to hear the tales woven into the fabric of your business dealings. Oh yes? How did your meeting go? I heard from the cook earlier that it was a great success. I'm sure you must have impressed them with your knowledge of the land and your experience of such matters. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm so glad to hear that. I will leave you for a moment whilst I prepare your chamber. Some lavender incense and a warm fire, perhaps? <laughs> Your chamber is ready for you, my dear. Just as you like it, I adjusted the ambiance to align with the peaceful haven you deserve. As you recline in your favored chair, let the soft flicker of candlelight cast away the shadows of the day. It is here, within this sanctuary, that you shall find repose. Now, if you please, may I offer you a drink to accompany your thoughts? Perhaps a glass of fine cognac to unwind the strands of the day's events? Of course. Here you are, my dear. A moment of respite. A sip of amber warmth to accompany your reflections. As you savor the fine liquid, I am here to inquire about the intricate tapestry of your day. Your business dealings are a melody of sophistication and I wish to listen attentively to each note. Do share with me, please. What transpired in the grand theater of your endeavors today? Were there moments of triumph or challenges faced with the fortitude befitting a distinguished leader like yourself? Oh, may I? <laughs> Mm. I have never tasted such a delicious beverage before. I am honored to hear of your triumphs, my dear, and empathetic to the challenges you have faced. Your resilience speaks volumes, and within these walls you are surrounded by understanding and support. As the evening unfolds, I have taken the liberty of arranging a light supper for you. A modest repas to replenish your energy and nourish the spirit. A crisp baguette. A delicate assortment of fromage and uh, perhaps some fruits to grace your palate. May I present this tableau for your delectation, my dear?
As you indulge in these culinary delights, please allow me to attend to your comfort, ensuring each moment spent in this chamber is one of serenity. While you dine, I am at your service to engage in discourse if you so desire. Is there a particular subject or matter upon which you wish to muse? Your thoughts and opinions are of great value, and I am here to lend an attentive ear, whether it be the affairs of the day or the musings of the world beyond these walls. I am at your disposal. Mm -hmm. That sounds wonderful. You must have seen so much of the world. Tell me more about the countries you visited. What did you think of the people? Hmm. Are their customs similar to ours? I hear the British do not have bread as scrumptious as ours, nor wine as flavorsome. <laughs> I am only teasing, my dear. Only the best for you, my elegant master. Whatever the origin may be. As the evening progresses, I have arranged a selection of reading materials for your consideration. Is there a specific genre or... Also, that aligns with your current disposition. A well-chosen volume can be a splendid companion to the evening hours. Ah, I see. A collection of the finest poems by Victor Hugo. Allow me to fetch the volume for you. You would like me to recite a few poems for you? Oh, very well. It is my honor to read your favorite texts, of course. My father used to read those to me when I was but a child. Oh, my dear master, I know for a fact that you studied French in your younger years. Am I mistaken? Are you sure you would like me to explain what the poem is about before I read it for you? Hmm. Let me read it first and then I will tell you what it was about. Océano Knox. Oh, combien de marins, combien de capitaines sont partis joyeux pour des courses lointaines. Dans ce morne horizon se sont évanouis. Combien ont disparu, dure et triste fortune. Dans une mer sans fond, par une nuit sans lune, sous l'aveugle océan, à jamais enfoui. Combien de patrons morts avec leurs équipages, L'ouragan de leur vie a pris toutes les pages, et d'un souffle, il a tout dispersé sur les flots. Nul ne saura leur fin dans l'abîme plongé. Chaque vague en passant d'un butin s'est chargée. L'une a saisi l'esquif, l'autre les matelots. Nul ne sait votre sort, pauvre tête perdue. Vous roulez à travers les sombres étendues, heurtant de vos fronts morts des écueils inconnus. Oh, que de vieux parents qui n'avaient plus qu'un rêve, 
sont morts en attendant tous les jours sur la grève, ceux qui ne sont pas revenus. On s'entretient de vous parfois dans les veillées, mains joyeux cercles, assis sur des encres rouillées. Mêle encore quelque temps vos noms d'ombre couverts, au rire, au refrain, au récit d'aventure, au baiser qu'on dérobe à vos belles futures, tandis que vous dormez dans les goémons verts. On demande où sont-ils Sont-ils rois dans quelque île Nous ont-ils délaissé pour un bord plus fertile puis votre souvenir même est enseveli. Le corps se perd dans l'eau, le nom dans la mémoire. Le temps qui sur toute ombre renverse une pluie noire. Sur le sombre océan, jette le sombre oubli. Bientôt des yeux de tous, votre ombre a disparu. L'un n'a-t-il pas sa barque et l'autre sa charrue Seul durant ces nuits où l'orage est vainqueur, vos veuves au front blanc lassent de vous attendre. Parlent encore de vous en remuant la cendre de leur foyer et de leur cœur. Et quand la tombe enfin a fermé leurs paupières, rien ne sait plus vos noms, pas même une humble pierre. Dans les trois cimetières où l'écho nous répond. Pas même un saule vert qui s'effeuille à l'automne. Pas même la chanson naïve et monotone que chante un mendiant à l'angle d'un vieux pont. Où sont-ils les marins sombrés dans les nuits noires Au flot que vous savez de lugubre histoire flots profonds redoutés des mers à genoux, vous voulez raconter en montant les marées, et c'est ce qui vous fait ces voix désespérées que vous avez le soir quand vous venez vers nous. Well, my dear master, what do you think this is about? What? images traversed your mind. Mm -hmm. Well, the title Oceano Nox translates to Ocean Night or Night on the Ocean. In the poem, Hugo describes the sea as a profound and uh, enigmatic force emphasizing its timeless and limitless nature. He explores the idea that the sea holds countless secrets and has witnessed numerous events throughout history, both majestic and tragic. My dear master, I can see that your eyes are starting to close and your breathing has become deeper. Should I leave you to rest after your eventful day? Hmm? You would like me to read you another poem? Your wish is my command. This one is entitled Je respire ou tu palpites And it translates to I breathe where you pulsate. Je respire où tu palpites. Tu sais à quoi bon, hélas. Rester là si tu me quittes et vivre si tu t'en vas. À quoi bon vivre étant l'ombre de cet ange qui s'enfuit. À quoi bon sous le ciel sombre N'être plus que de la nuit. Je suis la fleur des murailles, dont Avril a le seul bien. Il suffit que tu t'en ailles pour qu'il ne reste plus rien. Tu m'entoures d'auréoles, 
te voir est mon seul souci. Il suffit que tu t'envoles pour que je m'envole aussi. Si tu pars, mon front se penche. Mon âme au ciel, son berceau, fuira dans ta main blanche. Tu tiens ce sauvage oiseau. Que veux-tu que je devienne si je n'entends plus ton pas Est-ce ta vie ou la mienne qui s'en va Je ne sais pas. Quand mon orage succombe, j'en reprends dans ton cœur pur. Je suis comme la colombe qui vient boire au lac d'Azur. L'amour fait comprendre à l'âme l'univers salubre et béni. Et cette petite flamme seule éclaire l'infini. Sans toi, toute la nature n'est plus qu'un cachot fermé. Je vais à l'aventure et n'étant plus aimé. Sans toi, tous ces feuilles tombent. L'ombre remplit mon noir sourcil. Une fête est une tombe. La patrie est un exil. Je t'implore et réclame. Ne fuis pas loin de mes mots. Ô oh, fauvette de mon âme qui chante dans mes rameaux. De quoi puis-je avoir envie De quoi puis-je avoir effroi Que ferai-je de la vie si tu n'es plus près de moi Tu portes dans la lumière, tu portes dans les buissons, sur une aile ma prière, et sur l'autre mes chansons. Que dirais-je au chant que voile l'inconsolable douleur que ferais-je de l'étoile Que ferais-je de la fleur Que dirais-je au bois morose qui illuminait ta douceur Que répondrais-je à la rose disant « Où donc est ma sœur ?» J'en mourrai, fuis si tu l'oses, à quoi bon j'aurais voulu Regardez toutes ces choses qu'elle ne regarde plus. Que ferais-je de la lyre, de la vertu, du destin Hélas, et sans ton sourire, que ferais-je du matin Que ferais-je seul, farouche, sans toi, du jour et des cieux, de mes baisers, sans ta bouche, et de mes pleurs, sans tes yeux In this poem, Hugo expresses the depths of his love and the intimate connection he feels with his beloved. He suggests that his breath and life force are sustained by the presence of his beloved. Overall, this poem is a celebration of profound love, portraying the idea that Poet's essence is inseparable from the beloved's heartbeat and presence. Would you agree, dear master? <laughs> Was that enjoyable? <laughs> I am glad. While you immerse yourself in the written word, allow me to prepare a soothing bath for you. A blend of rosy oil and chamomile to lull you into a state of tranquility.
The tub is drawn, and the water awaits. A sanctuary within a sanctuary. May I lead you to the bath, dear one? A warm immersion to envelop you in serenity. Dear Master, I am here to assist you, should you require anything during your respite. As you sink into the warm embrace of the water, let the cares of the day dissipate. Allow the gentle ripples to carry away the echoes of your endeavor. Leaving only the tranquility of the present. As you emerge, I shall have a plush towel ready to envelop you, cocooning you in comfort. I see. Allow me to fetch the silk rope for you. Here you are, my dear. A garment of elegance and comfort to unfold you as you transition from the bath to the night ahead. Now, may I offer to brush your hair, perhaps? A gentle stroke to further alleviate any lingering tension. Your comfort is of utmost importance. As you recline, may I inquire about the dreams that dance within your mind, my dear? Is there a particular aspiration or desire that lingers within the recesses of your thoughts? Ah, a pursuit of passion. Your dreams are a testament to your spirit. And I am honored to be here to support you on this journey. As you prepare to retire for the evening, may I assist you in selecting a garment for a restful night's slumber? A choice of nightwear that complements the ambiance of this chamber. Allow me to present these options, dear master. A selection of fine sleepwear to ensure your repose is both luxurious and comfortable. Mm -hmm. Once you have made your selection, I shall prepare your bed, ensuring that each pillow cradles your head with the utmost softness. Is there a specific ambiance you wish to cultivate for your night of rest? 
perhaps a particular scent or arrangement of candles to lull you into the arms of Morpheus? Of course. Your comfort is my priority, and I am here to create an environment tailored to your preferences. As you settle into the embrace of your bed, may I inquire if there is anything else I can do for you, my honorable master? Your satisfaction is my greatest aspiration, and I am here to attend to your needs. Very well. If you find yourself in need of anything during the night, a mere summons shall bring me to your side. As you drift into the realms of dreams, may the night be gentle, and may your slumber be undisturbed. Bonne nuit. Until tomorrow, I remain at your service. Bonne nuit, my dear. Mm-hmm.